Hey everyone, welcome to Vortex Garage. Unfortunately, on today's video, we are going to start out on more of a negative note as, well, we do have some sad news to share. Uh, unfortunately, many of you have seen in our videos throughout the years, we've occasionally had shop dog Sharky on the videos and, of course, other places we've posted him. Um, uh, the unfortunate news is that a few days ago, we lost Sharky to some complications from a very aggressive cancer. Uh, so this actually came on very fast. Um, we did a live event last weekend and we had postponed that due to a vet visit because he was kind of acting a little weird and uh, it was nothing major, but it was enough because I knew him that I, something didn't quite seem right. And uh, so we did a quick consultation. He seemed to be getting better. It seemed like maybe it was no big deal, but unfortunately, uh, not long after that, it kind of came on very quickly and he sort of took a turn for the worse a few more vet consultations and, and like I said, unfortunately, um, due to complications of that, and we learned he had a very aggressive cancer, um, he did pass. So that's very sad news, obviously, and um, I, you know, I just felt compelled after a couple days of kind of dealing with that and to kind of share that with, with the group here because I know a lot of you have seen him in the videos and I really enjoy a lot of the conversations that we have in the comments and through the videos, especially with some of the live stuff we've done. And so I kind of felt com compelled to share that a little bit because, I mean, as much as we like to come out here and wrench on stuff and work on cars, you know, the, the reality of it is, is that there's real life happening too. And, and this is one of these aspects that I'm sure many of you have had to deal with. I've had to deal with it in the past with other dogs. And it's always, it's always very difficult and sad, if, especially if you're a dog lover, you got a, a buddy like him that you've had. Um, so Sharky was 14 years old. So, you know, if I think about it, it's like since we brought him home as a puppy, day in and day out, been there taking care of him. He's been taking care of me. We've had my buddies come out in the shop and hung out and uh, 14 years of that. So, you know, to say goodbye after that is, is pretty challenging. Um, but you do kind of come away from that as well and, and start to look back on those memories very fondly. And that's sort of what I've been doing lately. And of course, it's also been very helpful that we have Gwen here. Gwen is our rescue that we got this year. And uh, she's seven years old. She's um, supposedly lab, but she's small. We think she might have a little beagle in her, but uh, she's a good little pup. And uh, it's been really nice to have her to kind of hang around with uh, in, you know, with Sharky gone. So, like I said, this video did start out kind of negative because I guess we had that sad news to share. But I also wanted to spend time and just sort of talk about it a little bit, some of the, you know, really great memories and some of the awesome stuff. You know, when you look back at that pet that you had that passed, you know, it come away from the sadness of it, obviously. That's difficult and it's there, but you certainly have all those cool memories and things that you you did, you know, in those years. So like I said, let's take Sharky for example, 14 years is a long time. That was 2003 is when he was born. So if you can think back to th 2003, especially with all the technology we have, very different time in all reality, right? I mean, gosh, you had the Sprint guy with the black trench coat walking around in commercials selling PCS phones. Um, and uh, if you were at home, you had your landline. If you wanted to call long distance, you would get charged, so you'd do 10, 10, 2, 20. So you get 99 cents for the first minute or first 10 minutes, I forget what it was. But uh, like I said, I kind of wanted to spin this video in the end to be a little more positive because that's really what, what it is. It's the positive memories, the, the thinking back on how things were and, and all the enjoyable stuff. And of course, we got Gwen here, which is nice. Now with Sharky, I, I've spent some time recently, obviously pulling up some old pictures and, and I'm actually a bit of a digital hoarder. I've got pictures from many, many years ago that I've saved. And uh, with Sharky, I actually have pictures from the day we brought him home as a puppy and then all throughout the years. And uh, it's funny to think back some of those milestones too, like all the life events in 14 years that I've done, the transformation of who I was 14 years ago to who I am now. like. You know, just, heck, we're, we're here, we like wrenching, and that's what this YouTube channel is about. I think back 2003 and what I was doing on cars and what my capabilities were versus now, I've definitely grown a lot. And, you know, I've had Sharky in the shop kind of looking over as I was doing stuff a lot of times. So it is cool to think back on that stuff, and it's, it's a good therapy. You know, if you've had a, a, a pet and companion kind of pass away like this, I'm sure you've kind of gone through that, you know, the initial kind of shock of how quick it came on, the, the sadness aspect of it, but then trying to make it more positive and, and thinking about those memories and the good times. So 
um, like I said, I went through and, and basically found all those pictures and I spent one night, just went down a rabbit hole of digging through old pictures on, on computer stuff and finding all those old pictures, a bunch of them from when he was just weeks old when we brought him home. Uh, then as he grew as a puppy his first year and uh, those first couple years where it was a little tough, I remember he, we, uh, I had moved into my first apartment and, uh, and he came along, of course, and uh, promptly started shredding everything. I mean, he ate he ate my 1973 Guinness Book of World Records. I remember that very fondly. Uh, I had a nice remote for my computer at the time. I was using my computer to watch like m movies and stuff on and came home one day and that was in seven billion pieces on the floor. Uh, there were probably many other things that he tore up. Well, like the bathroom floor at the apartment. He ripped the linoleum up in that. I don't know why he did that. But uh, um, he grew out of that pretty quick. and. Uh, you know, it's funny, I learned a lot too about raising a pup and, and going through and, you know, of course you never think about how much exercise and how rambunctious they are. So I learned very quickly, you know, you'd get home and basically got me a lot of exercise too, run him around for hours just to wear him out. And uh, so, like I said, some really interesting, good memories. And even further along when he became more grown up and he kind of settled down and matured a little bit and, uh, a lot of great pictures and memories, and I figured I'd, I'd talk a little bit about those, but also kind of at the end of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and share some of those pictures to show you guys, because uh, you know, if, if you're enjoying this channel, I think you kind of enjoy watching some of the stuff we put out. I feel compelled to kind of share that and, and show you some of the things that, you know, if you saw Sharky on a few of the videos, you know, some of the things as he progressed through the years and some of the cool stuff and great pictures and fun that, that he had playing and playing fetch and going swimming and all that cool stuff. And uh, of course, we got shop dog Gwen here who is enjoying her time in the shop because she has found her favorite chair and she generally likes to lay on that while we're out here working. So we'll try to get her in some more of the videos as well and uh, keep posting videos. And she's a good buddy. And uh, but anyway, I did want to share that with you guys. I don't want to keep you too much longer. Um, we're going to cut in and show you some good pictures of Sharky. But uh, thanks again for tuning in. And uh, that's all we're going to really do on this video. Like I said, Wanted to share that news because I, I really do enjoy the community that we have here on, on the Vortex Garage channel and the great comments and stuff. So I wanted to kind of share, even though it was sad news, still kind of share that and just another good person to talk to basically is kind of how I see the camera right now. So thanks everyone, really do appreciate it. And I, I really hope you enjoy these pictures, some really cool stuff that really give a good tribute to the fun stuff and fun memories that we had with Sharky and, and uh, things that he enjoyed. So please enjoy that.